Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor You've here. You've already done a bit of this and that in the course of your life. Welcome to Florida. At the moment, you're taking care of all kinds of transport services in Florida. That's true. Your Ooh. client? Pretty. A certain lady who is eager to remain anonymous. Okay. Your goal? Gee, to get rich. What else? That's right. It's all about the money, toots. Is it all legit and above board? Well... <clears throat> wow, we're going to be doing illegal imports and smuggling now. Contraband. Cool. Hey, the main thing is that people are having fun, right? That's right. Let's import those uh, illegal Snicker bars and Coca-Colas. All kinds of good stuff comes from Cuba. It's so stupid that nothing's allowed to be imported from there since the USA imposed a trade embargo against the communist island nation. But even U.S. congressmen appreciate Cuban cigars and a glass of fine rum. Your client wants you to move the goods from the Caribbean to the U.S. mainland. But God help you if you let yourself get caught in the act. Oh, wow. We can't get caught by the help FBI, your boys. contacts to bring cigars and rum onto the U.S. market. You should disguise your venture as an import business for tropical fruit so that your activities attract less attention. Okay. <clears throat> So welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for clicking and tapping the like button and the subscribe button as we're getting towards the end of our campaigns here. This one's going to be cool. It's the 1980s. We've got to uh, import legal stuff from uh, Cuba and uh, vice versa from Miami. We've got uh, Nassau, Miami, uh, West Palm Beach, Fort Myers, and it looks like even Havana on the map. So per ship, deliver 50 cigars and 50 rum from Cuba, as well as 100 uh, fruit from the Bahamas to Miami. All right, where's the Bahamas? Over here. So we got our Bahamas plantation there. So we're going to be importing fruit. So I guess I need to have our ships go from uh, Cuba to the Bahamas first and then import them to Miami. Interesting. Okay, well, that means we're going to have to build uh, some stuff here to gather all the uh, rum and cigars and whatnot. So let's get started. It's going to be pretty easy. It looks like we do not have the ability to build airports or rail, but we might be able to use airports later uh, to buy them. So we can't build them, but we might be able to get aircraft later. So let's get started then. So it's just trucks and boats today. So let's do it then. So literally when she means ship, she means ship. All right. Wow, why is the land here so rough? It's crazy building in here. It's all mountainous. Look at that. Wow. All right. Let's uh, get this one going real quick. Yeah, we'll tuck that in right next to it. And let's just build a road depot near Havana. We might be tasked with building buses or something in the future. And I'm, again, I'm always trying to play now in the uh, future map, you know, like thinking about what the next goal might be or what the game might have us do next. This is triggering though, so I'm gonna try to raise our brush size up a little bit and at least try to smooth out the land a little bit around the factories. All right, that looks good. Okay, <clears throat> let's put down a truck stop now at the cigar and the uh, goods place. I'm gonna do one each because I don't wanna have a large number of trucks lined up to go into these facilities so I'm just gonna build them individually just so we can have a separate stop for each item even though I could build them together might save money but we're gonna have to build one big one for the uh, port here let's see here wow Havana the area around Havana is just so mountainous look at that okay so now we need to build a port over here in order to import uh -huh, certain things <laughs> so let's build a uh, let's build it on this side. We'll build a little uh, port over here, and then we'll try to uh, build a road that goes over that way. So there's an anonymous woman who we're working for. I don't know who that could be. I'm thinking, like, historically, if there was anybody who was involved in, like, smuggling and trade. I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head. Except for movies come into play, like, you know, uh, fictional movies like Scarface and whatnot, and then other more realistic movies like that one with, uh, uh, what's his name, Tom Cruise, where he played that pilot importing stuff. Okay, so it looks like this is pretty good to go. It looks like they actually built a large dock here, so we better build a large modified dock too. So let's configure. And I think we're only doing uh, heavy cargo, but it is the 80s, so I don't know if uh, Cuba's done that thing yet where they kicked out all the prisoners and then everybody came to Florida. Okay, so now we've got all that ready to go. So I wonder, it says per ship deliver 50 cigars, 50 rum, and 100 fruit. So... I guess I could have a ship going from here to here with the illegal stuff and another ship with all the mixed goods coming here. So let's build ourselves a ship dock too. Uh, I guess, a, what would you call it, a uh, ship shipyard? Uh, let's build that there. 
and then we'll need an area to store stuff, which is the docks itself. So let's get uh, a couple of ships bought, and let's get some lines going. Cool, we finally get to work with shipping. All right, so line one from Havana to the Bahamas, to Nassau South, technically, but there you go. Okay, now, uh, let's see, that's going to be our uh, illegal goods, so cigars and rum are first, and then we need one line going with the uh, mixed illegal goods from Nassau to Miami, okay? Wow, this game is so cool that you're, like, actually doing all sorts of different things other than just building cities all the time. All right, the next thing we want to do is set up a uh, cargo line, so we do need to start buying some of that stuff, so let's, uh, trucks. So we need rum to come into the port. And we need uh, cigars to come into the port. All right. And it looks like the last thing is goods, but we don't need those yet. Maybe we import those later on, because I see there's a uh, goods plant around here somewhere. Well, actually, that's the goods plant, but maybe construction materials and food, perhaps? Okay, let's buy some vehicles. So we'll go with, ooh, these are actually some big O trucks. Cool. Oh, wow, we got Peterbilt 359s. That's amazing. There are actually real trucks in here. That is so cool. Um, 25. Well, let's go with five, then, of each. So we'll assign those each to... Wow. That'd be a cool map to do. It's like a trucking-only map. That'd be awesome. I hope in the future in this game... I don't think there's a map yet, but it'd be awesome to have, like, a Texas map where you got to build a trucking company. That'd be so cool. You know, like, all you can do is, like, maybe uh, manage a truck and maybe some small rail lines or something. Okay, now we need to start buying some boats. So let's get that ready. So we're going to do some imports here of, let's see, we can have this ship ready to go. So one ship to bring it to and from Cuba and one ship to bring it to the mainland. So let's do ship number one can go to Cuba on line one and ship number two can go to line two. Uh, unable to find the path. Uh, uh oh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Is this passenger dock not big enough? Let's see. Uh, there should be a large... No, this should be large... Oh, wait. Oh, their cargo dock is too small, I think. No, the cargo dock seems big enough. Why is that an issue? Let me try that one more time. I may have connected our line to the wrong stop. It looks like it's going over to the cargo dock, though. The cargo dock is on the right side. The passenger dock is on the left side. And But it looks like they're switched around here. Interesting. Let's see. I wanted to make sure I can use this line. Let me try that again. So let's go back to our boats. So line two, uh, unable to find path to stop. No path for big ships, it says. But that just means the dock might not be big enough. If we look at the water, the water should be deep enough for it to go over there. There's no too shallow water. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know. Miami port. Yeah, let's have it go to one on the right side. There we go. That might actually do it. Let's give that a shot. Hopefully that's long enough. If not, we can modify. Okay, still unable to find path. Maybe this one's too small. Hmm. Let's make a big O storage port here. There we go. Well, actually, we're going to have lots of goods, so it's probably not a bad idea to have a large storage here. Now, let's see if we can build our large landing on this side for big ships. There we go. Okay, now let's make sure we've done this. Line one. Actually, I need to make sure line two is set up correctly now. Nassau South. Oh, it's trying to go to this little dock. That's why. It's not set up to go to, like, one or... It's trying to go to three rather than one or two. Okay, so the problem was this dock. I just needed to change the setting. Perfect, we got it. Finally. Okay, now let's see everything start working. So we need to transport 100 fruit, 50 rum, and 50 cigars. So basically it's like a one-to-one -one ratio. It's interesting that there's a trade embargo with Cuba, but yet somehow Peterbilt, an American trucking uh, brand, has... Uh, somehow made its way there. All right, there goes our boats. It'll be a little while until everything's properly functioning, but at least our fruit boat can go back and forth and deliver that way while we wait. And I'm glad we got lots of storage here, because if I end up with a lot of stuff 
in the Bahamas. That'll be good, better than in Cuba. It's at least at the halfway point. All right, now it seems like the Key West wants food. And pretty much everything's connected here, so you know the drill. At this point, we just want to connect everything. And since we don't have access to rail, we're going to have to do everything via truck on the land and boat on the water. And we don't have access to uh, uh, aircraft either, or at least at the moment. Okay, let's make sure everything's connected a little more effectively here. So they're going to want me to do something with the Everglades port. There's some sort of storage there. Maybe we need to deliver food for cruise ships. I don't see any way to deliver food to Havana. Actually, we can ship goods into Havana, too, but we're exporting it to the U.S. And the fruit is only accepted by Miami. Palm Beach will accept rum. Fort Myers will accept cigars. Both of them will accept construction materials, so let's get ready with that. We may as well build a truck depot at each stop while we wait for things to come in. So we essentially need the trucks to bring it to the ship docks and then the ships to bring it to uh, Miami. So that'll take a little bit of time, but it'll be fine. Alright, two more. I think we'll build truck stops here. I don't think there's going to be too much need to actually put stuff here. And there might be a need to bring people down to the port here. So I'm going to put another trucking stop here. Actually, it seems like once we deliver to the docks, everybody can get everything they need. So let me just build some bus stations here to start with. And we'll build one by the uh, airport. Down by the docks. There we go. Alright, and it looks like we've got a little neighborhood here. And actually, we might need to bus people down to the Key West as well as food. So let's build those too. And it looks like there's an area here for food. So I believe this is not a... This isn't a store... Yeah, it's a catering. Oh, film crew catering. Okay, there's definitely going to be something going on with food here then. So we may as well set up a route ready to go for that. Wow, there's so much... I thought F Florida was relatively, like, flat. Or underwater, not mountainous. Okay, so let's build another truck depot here. So it looks like we're going to need to deliver food for a future f uh, film crew. Based on uh, just clicking on that. Oh, good, we're starting to get our fruit delivered. It's going to take a while. All right, Nassau, looks like the best way to connect to that is an airfield. So it looks like uh, Miami, Nassau, and Havana are our three airfields. Oh, good, it looks like all the... Oh, perfect, the ship's pulling up now. Ready to pick up all that booze and cigars. Go, baby. Yeah. Loaded with 49 out of 55 and 40 out of 165. Excellent. And our trucks are bringing it over as quickly as possible, it seems. Yep, they're not leaving anything behind. Good. All right. Should be a matter of time. I'll see you as soon as we're done. All right. Our next, or rather, final ship is coming in. Our final shipment of rum and uh, cigars. We've already completed the fruit delivery. That was pretty easy. So this ship should be loaded with everything needed, including additional fruit. So we'll get on to our next objective then and see what we have to do. There's also bonus objectives we're waiting on as well. So as soon as this ship lands, it should be uh, delivered immediately to the people out there. Hopefully. The Border Patrol has stepped up its activities in the waters around the peninsula. Make really sure you won't get caught. Uh, have no vehicles in the questionable cargo in the marked areas when time is up. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got to make sure nothing is transporting any goods through there. Luckily, none of our lines are actually going through that area. Okay, good. All right, let's continue on. I also bought a bunch of trucks, so that way I could uh, start shipping out building materials as well. Oh, we got a little bit of a roadblock here. I'll we'll have to build a bigger highway to connect these areas. I have uh, quite a long line of ships coming in. Trucks, I mean. Let's buy a... You're doing such a good job that lately you're being entrusted with more goods than just rum and cigars. Transporting them is even trickier, the risk of getting caught a lot bigger. Just say no to it? With your boss, it wasn't an option. If you value your health, you better do what she wants. Okay. Meanwhile, the sea route has gotten pretty risky. That's why it's better to take a plane. Disguise the venture as a... Your job oh, here sorry. is super duper. If it wasn't for those pesky law enforcement officers who make life so gall darn difficult, make sure they never get their claws on you. 
your boss will think that's a great idea too. All right, I set up some of our uh, areas here, including the film crew catering and whatnot, but it uh, looks like they're not accepting it yet. Mr. They're ready Manu to go. Mikael, a somewhat shady businessman from Finland, wants to try his hand at alligator farming here in Florida. Although, he's got a small problem at the moment. There's a hole in the gator pen fence, and at least 10 animals are missing. Help the desperate farmer to recapture the reptiles in his care before they suddenly visit him on his porch. Uh -oh. The only way to make sure none of the creatures get away is to have enough boats. Have five hovercraft in the marked area. Okay, cool, we just need to buy some hovercraft and send them over there, that's cool. All right, let's buy five hovercraft. Listen to the 80s music. You can hear them trying to imitate certain songs. It's kind of cool. Do, 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 That's one. That's one I hear. You hear it? Yeah, they're definitely trying to do something like that. All right, we need to have five hovercraft there. So basically what I need to do is spawn them all at the same time and then just tell them to stop so they fall within that line. All right, we'll keep an eye on those. Here, the, here comes our first look at hovercraft. Holy crap, those are the fastest things I've ever seen. Those are like faster than uh, aircraft. Okay, uh, we need to now start transporting passengers back and forth. So we'll get that going here in a second. Uh, let's see, we need to deliver between where though? Uh, Nassau to Miami. So, hmm, how are we going to do this? Well, I guess we have to load it at the cargo airport, but then we need to stop at Nassau. Or does it have to, well, you can't actually have a passenger slash cargo plane. Like, you have to have one or the other. So it looks like these are all just separate goals. It should be pretty easy here. So these craft are coming in wherever they want. Okay, yeah, that should be two. All right, we'll wait for the other three to arrive. In the meantime, I'm going to start buying some aircraft. So we're going to have to buy some for... Um, passenger cargo. Oh, it looks like this one accepts all, so it can be mixed. We only have one plane to choose from, so let's buy like 10 of those, because th this is going to be a busy transportation season. All right, and then we'll complete this second one. So we need to uh, fly from Havana to Nassau to Miami, or at least have one plane going back and forth here in a direct flight from Havana, but that might be suspicious. We might need to like fudge the log books a little bit on that one. And let's see here. Four out of five, and our last one coming up from behind. Okay, second objective done. And then there's something about long arm of the law. Let's accept that one. Don't get caught, it says. Don't get stopped by a police jet. Okay, finding the gators is done. At last. All the alligators are back where they belong. The fence is repaired, and the finished farmer can get a better night's sleep again. All right, let's sell these boats now. We don't need these anymore. Line 11. We'll probably need them again, but we'll just sell them for now. Okay, uh, done. Okay, the next one is don't get caught. Don't get stopped by a police check. I don't know what that means. Is there... I don't know what to look out for. We'll probably get stopped at some point if I don't know. All right, I'm going to set up these routes, and I'll see you guys when we're almost done. All right, the last flight of cigars should be coming in now. I've completed the other two objectives and then uh, rerouted all the planes just to deliver cigars to get it here as quickly as possible. Seems like also the planes will wave off if there's too many uh, aircraft at the airport, too. So if one is landing and, and he's not yet off the taxiway, we're in trouble. Oh, have no aircraft with cash from cargo in the... Oh, we got a little bit of time here. Okay, let's go ahead and have all of our aircraft go to a different line. We'll switch all of our planes, get out of here, and go to a different airport. Uh, let's just have all of our planes return to depot at Havana. Let's see if I can tell them to do that. Okay, so the next thing is so we have 25 aircraft to return to. Can I tell them to go to a specific? Because if they're... Man, if I do that, they're going to actually go to this depot, and I don't want that, so let's see. Well, we could just wave everybody off, I think. These two should be able to deliver and get out of here within... Uh, I don't know about that. Mm, we'll see. Okay, let's just tell them all to go to a hangar. Well, oh, actually, the hangar's not here, so these two should leave. Just got a few seconds. Hopefully, they just go right through. 
60 seconds. We got less than a minute. Go, baby. Get out of that circle. Go, 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 go. 20 seconds to spare. All right. All aircraft should be returning to uh, Havana to get to the hangar. Your client is extremely satisfied with your reliable deliveries. It's a good thing, too. Hard to picture what might happen if she wasn't. At any rate, you're making a pile on this. You ought to invest in innocent-looking businesses so the authorities don't wonder all of a sudden where all the money is coming from. If you don't, they're going to catch on to you. I already have uh, construction delivery. You have delivery. different options. Investments in a cozy paradise for senior citizens seem just as lucrative as the deal involving hard-drinking college kids who want to recover from the stress of getting their degree. Oh, so they're still going to require something. It's either rum or cigars now. Uh, let's go with rum because it's so close to the airport. That's probably how I'm going to have to import it in. So let's go with spring break. Take the earnings from your shady transport company and invest them soundly. Build a never-ending party town for the younger generation and supply them with booze. It's the only way to protect your greenbacks against seizure. Okay. So we'll start shipping uh, rum up there. So we're going to redo our aircraft now. So they're all arriving back. That's great. Line 12 is now going to be a booze-only line. I turned off the cigars. So let's do that. Um, turn that back on for uh, rum. Wait a minute. Havana Airfield. Pick up rum. But don't pick up cigars. Cool. Okay. So now we should have all aircraft ready to go again. Um, let's just put them all on the line. What I do like is that you can still control the aircraft once it's been given the order. So, like, we have... 16 vehicles here, like ready to go. We can just tell them to go back on the line 12. And I'll come back and check on the others. All right, we're already just <laughs> delivering the construction materials, so we're way ahead on that one uh, to build some more party houses, I guess. So 25 rum will come in as soon as the aircraft get here. And then uh, this truck uh, line will take it from Church Street in front of the airport up to West Palm Beach. So I think we have like two trucks currently to do that, which are hauling. Let's see what line that is. I think that's line 14. Yeah, line 14, which is uh, three road vehicles that have small little trucks. So that should be enough to uh, bring that up there as soon as they're delivered. I might want to buy a few more trucks. So let's do that. Just tiny trucks are fine. Uh, they're each hauling 14, so I'm just going to buy a couple more just to see. Actually, let's go with like four or five more. There we go, and that's going to be line 14. Okay. Perfect. Well, we've already got the construction materials well underway. And now we've got our whole convoy for booze. And trucks are coming in and out, picking up the booze and bringing it straight to the airport. I, get, I guess we're at the mercy of the rum distillery. Like, we can only bring as much booze as the rum distillery is making. But the aircraft are ready to take it out. Let's see how, what our aircraft has. Zero out of 12 passengers. Awesome. Three cigars. Nope. Two, uh, two out of six booze. No. Nope. There we go. Six out of six booze. All right, let's make sure that these are set up correctly again. So line 12 at Havana. I want it loading only with rum. So I'm just going to turn everything else off. So please only load with rum. Good. And then at Miami, it doesn't matter what it onloads because it'll not have anything. Okay. I wonder if we get caught, if we'll have to like pay a giant fine or something like that. Like if it'll take a couple million dollars or something to hire a lawyer. All right. Construction materials are almost there and rum should be there as soon as the aircraft get over. We should have a long line of aircraft on this. Do we have any more aircraft return to hangar? Nope. It looks like all the planes that we have flying right now. Wow, look at that air traffic. There's a lot of planes up there. And they're going everywhere. All right, first planes are arriving now. Well, it looks like we had one come in earlier. No cigars on that one, and planes are still waving off. That's right, they should all be lo fully loaded with rum. Should be some planes here. Some of these probably didn't make it back to uh, go pick up cargo when they were given new orders. There we go, three out of six. Okay, so I'll be back as soon as we're done with the rum deliveries. All right, planes aren't going to cut it. I realize that the planes that are delivering to Miami are immediately dropping off the booze to be consumed, and I couldn't quite figure out a way to tell the city to like not take it, load it on the trucks, and go up there. So 
I've, de <laughs> I've determined that I need a little alternative route, so I'll just bring it via the ships anyway, which is cool because I actually kind of missed using them. The planes are still useful, though, and we'll probably see them again very soon. I'm trying to anticipate what the next thing will be. Obviously, something to do with the film crew catering. We've already got a food factory there connected and ready to deliver food back and forth. We've got all the uh, other cities connected, too, so we might have to do something for delivering passengers or goods to them. But obviously, a goods factory down here, having to bring goods up to Miami, I think is going to be a one of our next things as well. So we'll still be using the ships at some point. We've got to be using those soon enough. All right, we should have our ship on the way now with the uh, booze. Should be able to accomplish the 25 goal. And then the truck should be able to ship it back. So kind of cool that I get to use the ships again. All right, so I think the next goal will probably have something to do with... Uh, I think the food is going to be a bonus goal, but I bet the next goal will probably be something about transporting passengers. We can't do it directly with Havana. But I bet you, for some reason, we're going to have to connect these three together somehow. I bet I bet there's something to do with it. There's quite a bit of traffic, too. It's not anything we can't handle, but there's also a lot of, uh, a lot of cars, though. So we'll see what happens. All right, there comes the ship now, and it should drop off. And then either it'll be immediate or it'll have to be shipped. I think it has to be shipped just because the port... I couldn't build it on the beach. It doesn't let me build here since there's all these, like, uh, you know, I guess there's this it's be beachfront property. So I had to build over here on the side which is totally fine. All right, there's all the booze. So now the truck should be able to pick it up. Excellent. Each truck holds uh, 14, so three trucks should do it. There we go. Well, three or, or so, depending on how full the first couple were. So it might be more than that. If a truck pulls in and there's only seven there and it takes whatever's there while the tr boat's unloading, then that'll take a little longer. Well, I'm glad we went for... Uh-oh. Uh uh, don't get caught. Oh. All right. Well, we shouldn't have any more road vehicles filled with booze. Let's just send them all back. This is road vehicle on line 14. So let's just send everybody to a uh, thing and we'll be good. So we'll just send those guys to a uh, depot and they'll be out of the way. And then it should just be regular passengers. Yeah. All right. Everyone's leaving. Go, go, go. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> out of here. The... The cherry tops are on the way. The 5-0. All right, looks like we vacated the area. It should only just be buses now. This one truck's going to get me in trouble. Oh, no, it's fine. That's just a uh, construction material. Oh, a TV series now. Oh, right, we're going to do... Very good. You've managed to invest your profits like in a respectable or something like that. business. You're clean as a whistle. Thank you. In the meantime, numerous middlemen were arrested, and your client vanished without a trace. It might be better to switch to more legitimate activities. A film crew wants to shoot a TV show about the wicked highways and byways of Miami. Uh, your expertise is called for here. Miami Vice, I think. The is what TV they need. series revolves around two laid-back undercover investigators of course. who plow through the morass of vice and crime in Miami, dressed in chic sport coats. Thanks to your experience, the spectacular scenes are supposed to end up being particularly realistic. Uh, construct various sets for the show in the Everglades, Key West, Miami, and the Miami airports to take care of the needs of the crew. All right. Uh, well, the food's going to be easy. Let's get that started. Getting so many action scenes in the can creates an appetite. The TV crew wants to be provided with excellent catering. Okay, we already got that underway. In one dramatic chase scene, the team of investigators is supposed to pursue the fugitives in a hovercraft. Make sure that the staging of the appropriate episode is done well. Okay. Uh, we just need line 11 then, I think that was, for this one. So we're going to get the uh, boats to return. Hovercraft are on the way. All right, we'll monitor that. Uh, what's the next goal? A sequence is currently being filmed where the team of investigators drives like crazy around the streets of Miami. Make sure there's nothing in the way on the corresponding stretches of road. Okay, so they want me to either stop a vehicle outside the circle or just cut the... You want me to cut the road? <laughs> I wonder if I could, it'll let me do that. Oh, there it goes. These cars should disappear, I think. All right, let's check out the hovercraft. Hovercraft 1 is in the police. Yeah, we'll reconnect the road again. That's going to be a problem. All right, both hovercraft can return to base. Hold on there. Let's slow her on down. Okay, you two go back to the depot. 
I really want there to be a reason to use the hovercraft. So let's reconnect the road. There we go. There we go. And then we'll just upgrade this little section. <laughs> and we'll make it bigger if we need to. Okay, uh, let's see. Two out of five. There's two more goals to do. Uh, one being this one. Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Well, this should be goal three. Th this is four. The two TV cops are hot on the trail of a gang of smugglers who are intent on getting their merchandise to a safe place by plane. Uh, Key West. You're supposed to give a helping hand with the aerial showdown. Okay, so we just need to have one plane fly through the area, which is there. Uh, I think we could go for... Let's see. Actually, I think this will be fine. We should have a plane fly right through that marked area if we go for line... Uh, actually, what is it? If I click on the plane, it might tell me. Is this one still running routes? Line 12, I believe it is. So let's see how many vehicles are on line 12. Huh, no planes are assigned to it. Okay, well, let's put one plane on that. Whoa, I got lots of planes. But, oh, they must have went to this uh, depot as well. Okay, let's have aircraft one take line 12. And that'll be complete. He'll just fly through there randomly. And then uh, the road has been rebuilt. Um, so now, oh, let's check escape too. What is Cleverly engineered. You're just too smart for those blockheaded cops and the rest of them. Your boss is very pleased, and that, in turn, is good for your health. Okay, what's the final one? According to the script, at this point, the bad guys are supposed to blow up several bridges all at once. Naturally, you've never done anything like that, but you have heard about how it's done. Uh, blow up three bridges in ten seconds, okay. Well, that's easy, then we'll have to rebuild them. Let's just do these three. Oh, actually, these are two sections. I wonder if it'll count that. Oh, it sure did. Okay. Sorry, folks. Uh, rebuilding now. Uh, let's make those out of concrete. There we go. Sorry. Right. Just making movies here. Making TV. Okay, now we just wait for the uh, plane to fly through the circle. Uh, we wait for food to get delivered. And then that should be goal four and goal five. So... I still see a passenger port down there, though. I'm wondering if that's just to try to get the hovercraft around the uh, Florida Keys. If that was just kind of a way. Because you can't tell a vehicle to just go to a point. You have to tell it to follow a line. Oh, where's that aircraft, speaking of which? Is he taking off? Hey, jerk, you're blocking the way. Get out of the way. All right, aircraft one's going to take off now. All right, Film crew is completed. Now we just need the plane to uh, fly through the circle. And it should, line 12, I believe, should be over the top of that. So it looks like it'll fit just right over here. Cool. All right. So there's still a question of goods. There's still going to be one more goal. So we're going to have to deliver uh, goods to Miami or to, yeah, it's going to have to be to Miami. So we may as well start setting up a truck route for that. Let's get the cigar route on that one. So that should be what, line four, I believe? Yeah, line four. So let's get you guys to switch from Havana East to here. And then I bet we're going to have to deliver it to the port. So let's go to the Havana Central. And maybe we can easily ship it via the boats again. Boats are a lot slower and uh, harder to escape, but it's fine. Wow, we're making lots of money. We went from like negative 12 million to negative 5 million. I mean, that means we're starting to increase our income. And now we just need that one plane to fly over. Where is she at? Hello? Aircraft? Where'd he go? Oh, wait, he landed. Darn it. Maybe he'll uh, hit it on the return flight. Trying to click on him. There we go. Oh, looks like he won't pass it at all. How am I supposed to get him to go there? He should have flown through here. Have an aircraft fly through the marked area. Well, he should have. It looks like he goes right over it. Hmm. All right, I'll figure that out. We'll make it happen. All right, I think I see what I did wrong here. Uh, I'm supposed to click on an aircraft as it 
It says, have an airplane fly through the marked area and click on it. So I'm going to just go ahead and try it to, like, uh, I'm going to tell it to stop like we did with the Howard Hughes missions. Let's see if I can get him to, like, circle around. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to click on the marked area or the plane. Hopefully he circles around. Oh, he is picking up altitude. All right. Hopefully he'll circle around. So let's see what it said again. Uh, have an airplane fly through the marked area and click on it. It being the marked area or it being the aircraft. I assume it's the aircraft. So there's not much I can do here. So the airplane should come through again. Clicking. There we go. The TV series is a mega success. Naturally, above all, thanks to your support. All over America, Miami is now viewed as a dangerous place. Yay. But incredibly sexy, too. Oh, cool. This sinful image draws the rich and beautiful into town in search of thrilling adventures. But lately, Florida has become a very popular destination oh. for other target groups as well. Now we got access to All planes. the signs point to loads of moolah. Lure various target groups with attractive offers. There ought to be something for everyone. For a young, wealthy clientele and for screwballs, and even for perfectly ordinary families. Key West is a paradise for all kinds of eccentric characters. They like it when things are unconventional. Transport them by streetcar, an extremely unusual means of transportation for the USA in the 1980s. The Everglades National Park is a perfect destination for families out on a day trip. That is, as long as you keep an eye on the kids and the alligators aren't hungry. Okay, that one's easy. What does Miami need? The rich and beautiful among young oh, folks won't settle for run-of-the-mill spring okay. break parties. Bring them to Miami Beach, where glamour and a whiff of notoriety go hand in hand. All right, so for Key West, what, you really want me to build like a tram all the way along the highway? Huh. Oh, and also deliver food, spring break. Uh, where's the spring breakers? In Miami? Okay, so we're just going to reroute the food there. All right, I'll get all of our supplies set up, and then we'll uh, finish everything. Apparently, we're already transporting people to the Everglades, which is interesting because uh, we don't even have a bus stop there. Wait, we do. I see. Okay, I'll get all these goals pretty much done. So essentially, build a streetcar, transport people to the Everglades via hovercraft or whatnot, and then uh, transport food and people up to uh, actually from Miami. So we could probably build like a bus line there. All right, I'll get it all done. We'll see you in a second. Uh, we got a war going on. The screwballs from Key West have proclaimed their own republic and want to declare war on the United States of America. Whoa. The reason? U.S. Customs operations on the way to the island are bad for tourism. Help the island's population to draw attention to the not-so-seriously-meant announcement to wage war. Okay. We'll figure that out in just a second. What do you want me to do, ma'am? Long, stale loaves of bread are supposed to serve the prankster republic as weapons in the war against the Americans. Give a hand to the military buildup by making sure that as many freshly baked loaves as possible stay put in the bakery and get rock hard. Uh, let the transport value of the food processing plant fall below 40. Uh, well, I can't do that until we're finished with the other goal, so essentially what will happen is we'll complete the food delivery goal, and then it'll just shut the factory down. That's fine. Um, okay, I still have yet to build the streetcar and a few other things, so I'll check back in a second. All right, we did it. Uh, I finished all the main goals. It uh, looks like, uh, let's see, Florida's where the action is. Your businesses are booming. The cash is streaming in, and it's all perfectly legal. The only thing I didn't finish is the bakery. It's lowering from, like, 100 down to 62. If I continue playing, it'll eventually get down to, like, the 40s because we've got, like, look at what I did here. We got one little truck going from west to... Uh, Palm Beach West all the way down to the Keys here and it's one of those tiny little trucks that only holds a little bit of stuff 
so eventually the factory's value should drop to 40. But anyway, I don't want to wait for that to happen. I want to get on to the next mission. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you click or tap that like button, and we'll call this 100%. I'll, uh, of course, save it after I complete that other objective. So let's go on to the next mission. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.